Well, lots of things are happening with the Russia-Ukraine war. In fact, right now there is talk of secret invasion plans that I think you need to know about. Not only that, but over in Russia, the foreign minister has just sent a chilling warning to the United States of America and NATO. But before I get into the report, just a quick break. Check this out. Many people today struggle to manage their weight, but this is more true than ever after the age of 20. This is because after the age of 20, our body's metabolism slows down by as much as 4% per decade. By the time that we're 50, we've experienced a 10% drop or more in our metabolism. That's a major risk to our health. And this is why I personally use and recommend Keto Elevate at KetoWithLisa.com. You see, this powder has helped me lose weight more than anything else that I have tried. This product works by increasing the ketotone levels inside your body, which in turn support boosted metabolism. With just one scoop of this product every day, which I put in my coffee every morning, you can also put it inside your shake. But with just that one scoop, I have managed to lose a lot of weight and keep my metabolism up. The best part is I never had to cut out carbs or make major changes to my diet. But get this, other people started to compliment me on my changes and asked me how I lost so much weight. Imagine how fit you could look this summer by taking it. If you've been looking for a good way to support your weight management goals, then look no further than KetoWithLisa.com. And here's the even best part. You can get up to 51% off by going to KetoWithLisa.com. And not only that, they have free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching, and a free new e-report, the top 14 Kenogenic foods. And these are the bonuses that you get, three bonuses when you spend over 50. But not just that, for everyone, there's also also a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you're unhappy or unsatisfied with the product for any reason, you can even send back an empty bag and get a full refund within those 60 days. So get to ketowithlisa.com and take advantage of up to 51% off the product. Anyhow, if you want more information, it's found in the description box below. All right, back to the broadcast. So let's start first with that chilling warning from the Russia foreign minister. Take a look at this article here on foxnews.com and its headline, Russian foreign minister Lavro issues chilling warning about direct clash with NATO. Analysts have referred to potential war between Russia and NATO as World War III. It goes on to state this, Russian foreign minister Sergei Lavro warned that if NATO sends peacekeepers into Ukraine amid Russia's invasions, that will lead to a direct military clash between the Russian forces and the alliance. Sending NATO peacekeepers to Ukraine would lead to a direct clash between the armed forces of the Russian Federation and the alliance, he said Wednesday morning, according to the Russia state news agency TASS. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas Greenfield on Sunday ruled out the possibility of the U.S. taking part in these peacekeeping operations inside Ukraine, stating that the Biden administration will not send U.S. troops to the country. And here's what she said specifically. The president has been very clear that we will not put American troops on the ground in Ukraine, she said. We don't want to escalate this into a war with the United States. And if we did put these peacekeepers in, that's exactly what I believe would happen as well. But it goes on. But we will support our NATO allies, she added. Biden has made it very clear that if there is an attack on any of our NATO allies under Article 5, that we will support these countries and defend these countries. So basically what's going on in this report is this. We have the Russian foreign minister coming out and saying, look, if the if NATO gets involved, which the United States of America is part of that NATO alliance, if you guys get involved and send peacekeepers to Ukraine, then we're going to have a real problem because that is going to lead to a direct military conflict. Uh, basically word for world war or the sparking of World War III, if you will. Not something that I particularly want to do. I do not want this thing as escalating into world war. So obviously I want to stay out of it as much as possible to save many lives here in the United States of America. Now here's the kicker to this. After that warning or around the same time of that warning, we get notification out of Poland from a Poland uh, outlet one, I believe it's one t.pi. And I'm going to show you the report in just a moment, but this project, uh, this uh, Polish agency comes out and says, Hey, look, there's secret plans 
uh, that we just found from Poland's Ministry of National Defense. And here's kind of a blip on it on that same Fox News article. It talks about it, it says the Polish outlet 1T.pi reportedly gained access to a secret project at Poland's Ministry of National Defense aiming to deploy peacekeepers, the one thing we were warned not to do, from a number of NATO countries to Ukraine. Warsaw is expected to officially present it to the NATO summit on March 24th. The U.S. will not participate but may agree to a mission involving some other countries. Now, uh, basically what that is, is is they've found secret information or a secret project where over in Poland, they're trying to get the support of NATO. They're trying to get the support of, of U.S. to do this peacekeeping uh, thing with Ukraine. Basically, they want to send it in 10,000. But let's go directly to the source uh, so you can see exactly what it says here. And here we are at 1PL there on Google Translate. And here it is. Secret project of a peace mission in Ukraine. The discrepancy between the Ministry of National Defense and the Presidential Palace. They want to establish up to 10,000 people at the beginning soldiers of a special international military contingent operating in Ukraine whose task would include securing humanitarian corridors, including the creation of a no-fly zone above them in Ukraine there, implying secret designs for a peace mission, which is being developed at the Ministry of National Defense. The article goes on at the top here. At a special NATO summit in Brussels scheduled for March 24th, Poland is to formally submit a proposal for a peace mission in Ukraine, along with a detailed package of solution. Deputy head of the Ministry of National Defense informed on Sunday and Paul Schrotz, the head of the presidential cabinet, assured that the proposal would be presented in Brussels together with the government by the President Duda there. Now it goes on to state the position of the United States of America and the bottom line here is we don't want to get involved in sending kind of any kind of peacekeepers to Ukraine and it says uh, the position of the American in administration was repeated last night by the spokeswoman Jen Psaki, who assured the U.S. was ready to discuss the Polish proposal for a peace mission in Ukraine. But as she clearly indicated, the Americans would not send their own troops. The president made it very clear that we would not send U.S. troops to fight the Russian troops and that it was not in our interest. But we will continue to discuss a number of ideas, including this one, said Saki in response to a question about Poland's idea of sending a peace mission to Ukraine. As she added, there is a series of discussions behind the scenes. She said, however, that the U.S. position on sending its troops to Ukraine was likely to unchange. And earlier, the Polish proposal for peacekeeping uh, missions was also rejected by NATO. So there you have it. We have this secret uh, invasion, secret project, whatever label you want to give it, where Ukraine's saying, we want to send 10,000 peacekeepers in uh, that would involve things like creating a no-fly zone, which would be exactly what we've been warned about which would be which could potentially and I believe would spark a world war. So this is some things that uh, are on the table and thankfully <laughs> the Biden administration so far is saying they're not going to get involved. However, they have lied to the American people so many times. I do not believe the crap that comes out of their mouth half the time. Just going to put that bluntly. But God forbid we get involved uh, in any way right now. That's just kind of my two cents on it. So wanted to keep you up to date on what's going on with the war and uh, what's going on there in Poland uh, and just kind of throw it out there to you guys. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I love you all. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.